Hey guys, um, there's a reason why I titled this what I titled it. Um, vision, a vision and a dream, just speaking to God one day and then a dream. But um, I was just speaking to God and I was just thinking about how a lot of people are trying to portray being Christ-like Christians. And it's like kind of surreal. And it hurts to see that some of it's not true. It's like, okay, so are you covered under the blood or are you covered under the mud? The earthly, sens sen sensual stuff of this world, that clay vessel. Or are you truly covered under the blood of the Lamb that's seeing through the Spirit? So, I was just talking to the Lord about that, and that's what he told me. And so then a couple, not even a day, it was a day or two later, I think it was two days. Um, then I had this dream, and in this dream he said, he said, it's John, or it's James 3, and 16 and 17, but 3, all 3. So, I'm just going to kind of highlight them a little bit, but in James 3... And then I also got Matthew 20, 21, because it's all tied together. But I'm just going to read a little bit of it. I'm just going to read 316. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure and peaceable, gentle and easily to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace to them that make peace. So when you're truly covered under the blood of the Lamb, guys, and you got a true relationship with Jesus Christ, things are different. Yes, we're going to make mistakes, of course. That's part of the fra fragile human being that we are. But what do you do with those mistakes? That's the difference, guys. Are you bringing them to him? That's the, the, the other piece I'm about to get to is about, is about the repentance piece. Because there's a lot to it, guys. More than it, than it seems. To repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. So are you really, really covered under the blood of the Lamb or are you covered under the mud? If you're covered under the mud, nobody can even recognize you. You can't see. Your eyes are covered in the mud. Your brain's covered in the mud. You can't think. Your ears are stopped up with the mud. You're caught up in the world, guys, the carnality of the world. Sorry. But when you're covered under the blood of the Lamb, you're just, you, you, you have that mind of Christ and you think differently. <laughs> So, read, a, read all of James, I'm going to make this a shorter video, but read all of James 3, and then go to 16 and 17. So, 16, are you carnal? 17, do you have the wisdom from above? Are you covered under the blood? Of the, are you covered under the blood or the mud? So, then go to, go to Matthew 21, but really it's a story about a parable about, about a field, and he has a vineyard, and Jesus has a vineyard. He sends, he asks his sons, he said, go out into the vineyard. One says, I'm going to go, but he doesn't go. But then he repents and then he goes. The other one, he says, he'll go and he didn't. So, one was covered under the blood of the lamb because he repented. And then he went and did what God told him to do. Jesus told him to do. The Holy Ghost told him to do. The Word told him to do. The other one just lied about it. And didn't think anything of it. Covered under the mud. Can't see. Caught up in this world. Caught up in the cares of this life. Caught up in the who's who in the church zoo. The swirly, twirly, earthly stuff that people claim to be Christianity. It's choosing time, guys. That's what this, it's just going to be time to choose. The washing, the, the water 
is representation of the washing of the water of the word. John 3, 4 and 5. Except a man be born again of the spirit and water. That's what washes the mud away, guys. The spirit, the blood of the lamb, the repentance, the washing in the water of the word, the purification. Then you get filled with the spirit. Oh yeah, everybody, the people claiming to be filled with the spirit, they're full of a spirit, all right. But it didn't, it's, this pastor used to make me laugh. He used to call it the Holy Ghost. It's choice time, guys. No more, no more faking it till you make it. No more, you know, it's almost, honestly, it's almost like mocking the cross, really. And it's, there is a storm coming to this country, but to the world. But it's going to be to cleanse, purify, sanctify, washing in the water of the word. That son, after he repented, but then farther on down, this is really where it gets pretty, pretty deep, guys. Forty-two. Then Jesus, Jesus said to them, Did you never read the scriptures, the stone which the builder rejected? The same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on the stone shall be broken, but on whosoever it shall fall, We'll grind into powder. Guys, it's time to fall on the word. Not let the word fall on you. It's time to uncover the mud that's in your life and wash it with the blood of the lamb. The water of the word. Purification. It is decision time, guys. It's a storm that's coming. So you're going to have to make a decision. So that's kind of the message. Covered in the blood or the mud. What do you want to be? An unrecognizable Christian because you're so earthly and you know everybody there's so many people that claim to be Christians, they they, they don't even hardly quote, quote the scriptures, and if they do, it's very little and I'll just it's not even quoting the scriptures, they don't even live by them, by the word. You just kind of just do whatever they want and then throw up the name of Jesus or throw up the name of God a little bit and act like they're <clears throat> it's crazy really it really is guys and you're going to get your answer from your secret place because that's going in the message is who's your source it should be God Jesus the Holy Ghost and his word find it out for yourself that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of the cross. You're an advocate with the Father, standing before the Father, standing before God on your behalf. You're covered under the blood of the Lamb or the mud of this world. So anyhow, um, it's James 3, all of it, but 16 and 17. 16 is the mud part. 17 is the blood part. And then Matthew 21 and 42 is about the stone that the builders rejected. People, you know, you can even say the name of Jesus some and people, but, but really when you live it, you get rejected. He was. People don't want to hear it. Most people don't want to hear it, honestly. So what are you going to do, guys? Stay in the mud or get covered under the blood? Because it's not going to be this lukewarm Christianity anymore, guys. That's what the storm's coming. I'm not just saying this just because I want to be sensationalized, something that the Lord had given me. Nothing to do with me, guys. I'm just a watchman on the wall. Crying loud, warning people.
There's a storm coming, guys. It's coming, guys. But it doesn't have to be a destructive storm. It can be a cleansing, purification storm. If you let it. If you fall on the word. If you cry between the porch and the altar. If you repent. My people are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. It's a repentance, a turning. Leg aside. A holiness, living right. A cleansing, purification. No more games, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> I don't have, I don't, I have to be standing before him with what he's given me. I'm not running for president, guys. I don't need your vote. I don't need your offering. God's done some miraculous things, even just recently. With nothing. To my to my understanding, became something. One day I'll share that with you. But it's not today. My trust is in him, guys. Yes, you got a big checkbook, write a million dollars. I don't care. But if you're gonna get, if it's gonna offend you to get, give ten dollars, don't do that either. But it's not the money, guys. He, he already told me that he's gonna do things without money that aren't gonna require money. He's done some things already in my life recently. That's why I haven't been on on YouTube much. I've just had some stuff that I had to get taken care of, but it's leveled off now and taken care of. But it was by the grace of God, and by his hand, and by my trust in him. Seemingly from the outside, from the worldly point of view, from the, you know, if I look through it, through it through the mud instead of the blood, I mean, it's a mess, kind of. But not to him. It's faithful. True. So, anyhow, um, just... Get there, guys. The blood of the Lamb. Covered under the blood of the Lamb. Not the mud. Because it's going to get you nowhere. But death and destruction. <clears throat> Suck you into that earthly realm. Where the devil wants you to be. And thinking you're okay and you're not. If you're not covered in the blood of the Lamb... And living in the spirit, you're not okay, guys. I'm sorry. It's not this big, surreal, open pasture heaven. Everybody gets in mentality. So his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He has a plan, guys. And his name was Jesus. The salvation of mankind. So if you're not covered in the blood, you're covered under the mud. No, I'm not going to hogwash, whitewash, paint it some different color. A or B. Black or white. Blood or mud. So we love you guys. Uh, if you want to email me, you can at jesusisaliveinamerica at gmail.com. Blog with us. Uh, you can go to Jesus is Alive in America dot com. Blog with us, um, Instagram, YouTube, it, uh, just whatever. Or you can, like I said, just email me at Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com. Love you guys. Bye.